Okay, for this problem, we're going to be doing partial fraction decomposition again, but I must warn you in advance, it's going to be a very long, tedious process because we're going to have two different terms that we're going to have to work with that are pretty complicated. So let's first go ahead and do our partial fraction decomposition. And so we're going to take our original fraction, which is 3s squared plus 5s minus 1 over s plus 1 times s squared plus 4. And we're going to break it down into two fractions. And the first one is a linear factor. So we're just going to use a over s plus 1. But the second factor is referred to as an irreducible quadratic because we can't factor it or break it down any further. So that needs a bs plus c as a numerator over that s squared plus 4 denominator. And then from here, we once again multiply through by the LCD to clear out the fractions. So that's going to give us a 3s squared plus 5s minus 1 equals a times that s squared plus 4 plus the bs plus c times the s plus 1. And now we're going to have to multiply all of this out and sadly match coefficients. So that's going to be a 3s squared plus 5s minus 1 equals a times s squared plus 4a plus bs squared plus b times s plus c times s plus c. And now when we match coefficients, this is going to give us a linear system. Matching the squares, we've got 3 is equal to a plus b. Matching the s's, we've got 5 is equal to, looks like b plus c. Then we match constants, we've got negative 1 is equal to 4a plus c. And we can either go through and solve this 3x3 three three system by hand, or if we want, we could put it into a graphing calculator. And I will do that very quickly and pause. So the row reduced echelon form we're going to pursue is going to first start off with the matrix 1, 0, 1, and 3, 0, 1, 1, 5, 4, 0, 1, negative 1. And then with our graphing calculator, with the RREF function, we're going to end up with A being equal to negative 3 fifths, B being equal to 18 fifths, and C equals to 7 fifths. So we go back to our original problem, and we are now taking the inverse of negative 3 fifths, which is our A, over 1 over S plus 1. Then we're going to have our B, which is 18 fifths, and that's with the S over the S squared plus 4. And then we're going to have our 7 fifths, which is our C. And that's going to be 1 over S squared plus 4. So the first two terms are ready to be inverted because we have the exponential and the cosine there. But you'll notice that the last term, that's going to have a 2 that we need to put above and below. So when we take the inverse of this, we're going to have negative 3 fifths e to the negative t plus 18 fifths cosine of 2t plus 7 now over 10 sine of 2t. And once again, we can check this answer by taking the Laplace transform and simplifying it down by adding up our fractions and getting common denominators.